Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm Nick. I'm Noah. From Top Notch Sports. And today, we're going to be discussing week one, the Detroit Lions versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Noah, all right, first thing before we get into it, tell them about the page that you run. You're Lions analyst, right? You run an awesome page for Detroit. So we know we got a little bit of bias here, but we're going to do our best to make this unbiased. We go ahead, tell them a little bit about what you got, and then we'll hop into what we think about the Chiefs and the Lions. Yeah, you know, I run a nice little page on Instagram. It's just Lions Analyst, no spaces, nothing, anything crazy like that. Uh, we're just very lucky to get the actual username. Um, I post anything Lions related. I try to, you know, be as quick as I can with stuff. I'm very busy with my schedule, so it's not always ASAP. But if I've got free time, it's out pretty quickly. And then, uh, yeah, just post the Lions news, updates, stuff like that, other content. So if you guys want, go drop a follow. It'd be greatly appreciated if you're a Lions fan. If not, drop a follow. It'd be cool to watch. So Absolutely. Yeah, see you guys yeah. over there. Yeah, reach out. Again, follow this page. Again, we have some Chiefs fans also hooked up with our channel, right? Because we run, you know, you know that we have like 32 connections to people. So we do got a Chiefs guy too, but we will get you that info later on. So Chiefs fans, stay tuned. Lions fans, you got your guy. All right, look, here we go, okay? Uh, Lions are underdogs, okay? They are the underdogs. The Kelsey news is slowly letting it creep up, though. It's getting a lot closer than what it once was. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe the odds right now are around, I mean, they were minus 280. I believe they're down to like 230 right now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what do you think? I mean, what what's your honest, honest, uh, do you think the Lions are going to win this game? Biasly, I want to say that I think we're going to win. I think we're going to be a great team this year. Honestly, realistically, though, I think the Chiefs pulled out in a close win. I think that they have more experienced players, regardless of if Kelsey or Chris Jones play or not. They have more experienced players. They have Patrick Mahomes at the helm. Anytime you got 15 at QB, you have a chance, you know. So I think it's going to be a close game, but I do not think we'll win it. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a tough one. I mean, look, you got Pat Mahomes right on the other sideline. I know Chris Jones right now is not supposed to be there. He did just come out and say, though, if they sign a contract right now with him, he will be there tomorrow. So that just shows you how eager he is ready to go. He wants to play. Now, the yes. Chiefs can't get it done. They can't get it done. The odds are they're not going to get it done. Uh, but look, all right. So, like I said, depending on the source that you look at, right, minus 215, minus 218, minus 225, you know, everyone has a Chiefs winning this game. Uh, the spread right now is around four and a half to five, okay? So, again, mm -hmm. I think this could be – Within a field goal. I really do think that this game can honestly end up between a field goal. The thing that I'm saying is, is this. Who do you think? I mean, if the Lions win this game, I think it comes down to two guys that can help them win this game. Who are two guys, one on offense, one on defense, that you're looking for? If the Lions have a shot, who are you thinking are the guys? It's easily Amon Ross St. Brown and Aiden Hutchinson. There should be no other answer. Those two guys, when they play well, they play extremely well, and they completely wreck a game for the opposing team. You know, so like my, my thinking is if we can get all 22 starters on the field at both times, if they can all click, they can all play well at the same time and they can get into a groove. I think we have a chance. I legitimately think that's our chance. If we can't get into that groove and if we can't get into, you know, working as one unit, that's when it's going to fall apart. We're going to fall behind and it's still going to be a close game. But we're just not going to execute as, as well as we need to to beat the Chiefs. Yeah, no, I hear you. And look, again, like you said, uh, Amon Ross St. Brown is just a hog, right? He gets a lot of target mm -hmm. share. He's going to get a lot of catches. We know that's going to happen, especially if, you know, uh, Chris Jones is in locking down mm -hmm. that middle defensive line spot, not applying pressure. Jared Goff's going to have time, and he should be able to find some of his receivers. The guy I'm saying on offense that I'm really – I mean, I know this guy might not be the list of starter or anything. Jameer Gibbs. I think could be yep. a difference maker in this game. I feel like this guy, you know, some of his betting things right now, if, I mean, you look at him and yep. see what it's they're crazy. saying. I, I'm telling you, I'm taking most overs. I mean, it's plus yep. 165 yep. to score a touchdown. I think he probably – I think they're going to feature him in ways that we have not seen teams feature a running back before. First round, no, no, no. I agree. they're going to throw in the ball a lot. What do you – I mean, haven't you been here? They're going to use him a lot as a receiver, I think, too, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he's he's in training camp. He was lining up at slot. He was lining out outside. He was he was lining up literally everywhere. There was a play that we did a wildcat play at training camp that was reported, and he took it for like sixty yards to the house. And it's like, no, the the kid's special, and he's going to be a great running back for us for the next four years at least. Um, you know, and I'm excited to see what he's got. Like, I'm really, really excited to see what he can do. Between Gibbs and Amon Ross St. Brown, and when Jameis Williams gets back, this is going to be one of the most explosive offenses in oh, the National Football League. And you 100%. look at some of Gibbs' stuff right now. I mean, the way you can get him screen passes and everything, 
right now, the dude, he's sitting that. I mean, for those betters out there, I'm telling you right now, plus 165 to score a touchdown. You might want to dabble in that a little bit. Rushing yards, 38 and a half. He's getting I think way he more. He gets than that. you more. I really do. I mean, I know they're saying David Montgomery. I think that Gibbs can get you more. I think you can pop a 38 yard run on one play. Uh -huh. that's, especially without Chris Jones. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's the thing, too, is like, you know, before everybody, anybody knew that Chris Jones wasn't playing and Kelsey might not play and all that, we didn't have a chance. If those two guys play with Mahomes and they get all their guys on the field, we don't have a chance at all. Like, we're not there as a team yet. But they're missing two of their top three guys. And we don't have anybody besides Isaiah Bugs, but he's good. I love Isaiah Bugs. He's a great fill-in, but he's not an X-factor player that you can't play a game without. And, you know, we're healthy scratching him. I don't know what's going to go on there. I don't know what we're doing that for, but whatever. Um, but, yeah, I, th I think they have two of their top three guys out. I, I think we have a chance. Absolutely. Now let's go to the other side of the ball. We talked about the Lions. I know that you don't really specialize with Chiefs, but let's just think about the Chiefs. Okay, they got Isaiah Pacheco. They got, you know, uh, of course, they got Noah Gray now filling in for possibly Travis Kelsey if he can't play. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they brought in, of course, Pat Mahomes. We already know that. Outside receivers, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, Kadarius Toney. Uh, I really like Rasheed Rice. I know they got Sky Moore. Uh, let's talk about this. What are you thinking here? I mean, offensively for the Chiefs, they still got some potent weapons. I, they, they really oh. do. I mean, it's not top tier, right? Their wide receivers aren't top tier. But to have four of those receivers in Rice, Canarius Tony, Sky Moore, you know, Marquez Valdez Scantling, that's four really top tier receivers. I mean, they're not number ones, all of them, right? I think Rasheed Rice honestly has the best chance to be a true one A receiver out of that, all those guys. But looking at it as a whole, their number four receiver might be better than most people's number two receivers. So what are you thinking? I mean, about the Chiefs offense, just you know, without talking about Mahomes, the other pieces surrounding Mahomes, what do you think? I think it's kind of the same situation. I think it's, you know, if, if I think it's going to boil down to whichever team can work as a team the most, honestly, you know, whoever clicks, whichever team can just click together and, and work as a single organism, that's the team that's going to win tomorrow. And I, I think Kansas City has the best chance of doing that, like I said, because of the veteran presence that they have. But you never know. You know, they, they do have a lot of young guys, you know, like Pacheco. He's young, but he's good. He's He looks like an experienced running back out there. And this is his, what, second year? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And he looks like he's been in the league for three to four years at least. You know, Michael Hardman, not Michael Hardman. He's with the Jets now. Um, yep. Darius Tony, that's what I'm thinking of. Yep. Anyways, you know, KT, he's he's a very good receiver. Rasheed Rice, he's a very good receiver. Like, And their, their defense isn't bad either. You know, I, I, I they have a very good chance to play extremely well tomorrow. Um, and I, I, I think it's going to be a great game. Um, I'm excited, man. Me too. And like I said, I mean, the Chiefs are potent. The thing that I think that can help the Lions, I told you, I think Jameer Gibbs can be different. We already know about Amon Ross A. Brown, right? He's going to be that guy. But I think Jameer mm -hmm. Gibbs can be a difference maker that can help you win this game. And another guy, I mean, this one's the obvious one. It is Aiden Hutchinson. You mentioned Aiden Hutchinson. I think he's going to get after Mahomes. Will he have a sack? I don't know because Mahomes is so elusive. But will he apply pressure multiple times throughout the game? Absolutely. 100%. He's going to make it tough. And I'm telling you right now, I love Dan Campbell. I, 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 you know, I bet on the Chiefs to win this game. I'm nervous. I got butterflies in my stomach because, you know, you don't win a lot to bet on the Chiefs, you know, especially this week, right? You don't win a lot. And uh, with Dan Campbell and this Lions team, they can apt. I smell an upset possibly brewing. I really do. So let me ask you this final thing, okay? What, Eddie? What, Eddie, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I want to make this clear first. I truly believe that Jameer Gibbs, okay, we're going to clip this. We're going to post it if I'm right. <laughs> so remember mm -hmm. this moment in this video. I think Jameer Gibbs finishes the game with one touchdown. I'm going to say four receptions for 
I'm going to say 68 total yards. And that's all. But he could be the difference maker. So figure on a fantasy day, figure. I gave him four receptions. I gave him 60 yards. That's already 10 points plus a touchdown. That's a 16-point game in a PPR league. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I think I said 67 yards, actually. So that's 16.7, depending on how you play. I think that Jameer Gibbs can give you around 16 to 18 points this game. I'm telling you, he's going to have a big day. And again, if the Lions want to win, Aiden Hutchinson needs to be a presence on that football field and get after Pat Mahomes. Final score prediction. What do you got? Let's hear it. Honestly, I think I'm going to go. I think it'll be a touchdown. I think both teams score a lot. I'm going to go 38-31, final score. Chiefs take it. Yeah, I'm going to go 34-30, Kansas. Mm. So, close games out there. Close games. Anything else you want to mention? No, I'm good, man. We Great conversation. Yeah, for sure. And like I said, I think, like I said, Mahomes, man, we'll see. If you can slow him down, I, you know, I'm thinking he's probably going to get around two, three passing touchdowns. And probably throw yeah. over, I'm going to say probably over 285. He's going to be right around the 300 range. The only reason why I truly got Kansas City winning this game because Pat Mahomes over Jared Goff. But hey, mm-hmm. the weapons surrounding Detroit and the weapons that are going to be surrounding Detroit when Jameson Williams gets back is going to be oh, absolutely man. phenomenal. Scary. We'll wait and see. But all right, that's all from us. We'll see you guys soon. Peace. We are built better. See you guys soon. Peace.